that. Tweet, and then Blue Sky, and then Discord. Then advertisement on Twitch. Great, I love that for us. Oh my god, Edward Bosco. Thank you for the tier one sub for 49 months. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. Only been subscribed for 49 months instead of 69 months? What a fucking tool. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm definitely lacking. Don't worry, give me like, I don't know, let's say about 20 more months. We're back, yeah. I figured people would be excited for more Mass Effect. Now, in my, in my defense, <laughs> a lot of us were busy for various reasons. And last week I played Rhyme. So um, also before we get really into it, I'm gonna pull up the journal so you guys can take a look at what I need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, do you need missions or assignments? Uh, well, assignments is side. Assignments is the side quest. Yeah. All right, assignments. So there's the Admiral Hackett thing, the Typhoon system for Cerberus. Project Firewalker. Okay, we don't want to do any of these. These are all DLC. Yeah, I would, I would do one of the next dossiers that you have, unless you want to help Jack out. Uh, the Justicar. Yes, there's the Justicar, there's the Assassin. Assassin. All right, Shadow Miranda Broker. has a mission for you. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Kasumi has one. Zaid has one. And then you have to stop the Collectors eventually. I think you might like the Assassin. I, I, I know I do. I'm looking at you weird. What? He's... Oh, shit, I forgot my notifications are off. Hold on, let me... Do I actually... The assassin is cool! I should probably keep my notifications off just so that I don't interrupt cutscenes, but... Zanwin, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub for 38 months. Thank you so much. I mean, you you might also like the Justice Yards, just... The assassin's also yeah, You could also do so the... J if you want to do a subquest, way. you can do Jax. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of options, which is good. Yeah. It's really up to you. Arkov and Bosco, let's go. I know, half of that equation is exciting. Oh, the Bosco part. Thank God that no, I was thank God the Arkov part. I was gonna thank God Arkov is here, or else I might play a game that makes me cry at the end again. I like I, how you assume that Arkov wouldn't want you to play the crying game, and that it would be me that would love to see you in tears. If you were here, you were here, and we went through it. We, we shared that together, chat. Sometimes a good cry is cathartic. Honestly, it Shit was. Shit out. Honestly, it was like it was. It was. It was really made me cry, but you know, I don't want to say it made me cry in a good that. way and maybe cry in a tragic way. It's a very tragic thing. But... It's no weirder to cry than it is to scream in rage. Uh, bats wearing trench coats. That's such a cute image. I'm finally able to watch live. Hello, everyone. So excited. Yeah, a lot of people are excited. I'm excited. This has I'm been gonna a... go grab a quick drink. Yeah, go for it. It better this be water. Been, this has been this has been a pretty good week for, for streaming for me because we've, oh my god, we did so much this week. We did, uh, we had Dungeon of the Mad Mage where they made it to the next floor. We had five hours of Final Fantasy this past Friday to do all of Bahamut, and now we're back with Mass Effect. It's like, it's great. Woo Monty, did you know that you're cool? I'm actually warm right now because the temperature is quite nice. I actually cracked open, I actually might go crack open my window a bit more and get some fresh air in here because it's, it's very nice outside. I think it's like plus 10 Fahrenheit. Climate change. You say plus 10 Fahrenheit? I don't know what that means. Because 10 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't think is as warm as you think it is. Monty over here, like, ah, oh, it's t 10 plus Fahrenheit. It's like, ah, oh, you mean 22 degrees below freezing for us Fahrenheit people. Bosco, what did you think of the Royal Rumble? Man, all right. So I thought every match except for the world title match with Roman, the Fatal 4-Way, was good. I thought the Women's Rumble was good. I thought the Owens-Logan Paul match was good, which frustrates me because I hate Logan Paul. And the Men's Royal Rumble was good. I'm sad, though, because one of my favorite wrestlers, CM Punk, got hurt again. 
and so that really sucks and there was there was part of me that was like oh maybe i'll go see punk wrestle or wrestle well i guess not but i thought the the match itself was really good every turn welcome back thank you uh leo that confuses me because 32 degrees fahrenheit should be zero celsius so i'm confused how that works it's, it's, it's 10 degrees that's what, because you said ten, ten. You said Fahrenheit when you left, and I'm like, plus ten Fahrenheit doesn't only, mean what you think it means. The only time I'm gonna use Fahrenheit is when it's negative forty, because that's when Fahrenheit and Celsius have a little kiss. So it's like it's it's pleasant. I literally just cracked open my window like crazy, because might as well get some fresh air in here, breathe some real oxygen for once. Mm-hmm. Oh. Air that is fresh. Indeed. Goodness gracious. <laughs> ah. Also, I finally got to watch the Monster Manual Smasher Pass VOD, and it was incredible. I think my favorite like highlights is obviously a woman part from Cotter, but literally, <laughs> literally the exchange of Cotter going for the hags, like the hag goosey got me acting up, and then immediately followed by Therapod going. She eats children. Well, no one's perfect. <laughs> it was just like, God, we need to do another one because we have a whole other book to do. And now we have some other creatures that have come, like, shown up in other books that we can also do as well. <sighs> so we got, we got stuff. Monty, D and D Monster Smasher Pass, maybe I've already done it. What do you mean, maybe? It's it's on my YouTube. Literally, we uh, Connor, Thero, Arkulf, and myself did a Monster Smasher Pass for the Monster Manual, and we I posted it to YouTube, so it's there. You can just go onto my YouTube channel. It's Monty Glue. Yeah, we literally already did that. People got very upset because we included monstrosities because they are sentient, and people were like, "That's weird," and it's like. Guys, we're talking about whether or not we'd fuck armor. Every part of it's weird. I'm sorry. Have, have people ever seen the Ghibli movie? Oh. Oh, yeah. Frankie was there, too. That's right. Fucking. Was, no, wait. Bracky wasn't there. Can't remember. No, I think he was, actually. Was Bracky there? Because I know he was for our Pokemon Smasher Pass. Not at first. Oh, did he join us later? I can't remember. It's been a while since we did that, but we should do a, a second second part. Bracky I can't readily there? check oh. because you don't have images on it. Yeah, but you Bracky. do have Bracky in the description. Yeah, Bracky was there then. My bad. He wasn't there at There's... first and joined in later, I believe. Okay, that makes sense. So it was Therapod, Connor, myself, and you. And Boss and uh, Bracky. And Bracky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there later on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, we have a few quests to do. You know what? I'll just link the VOD in your chat, that way people can let's, easily find it. Let's go with Justicar Samara. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Or should we go for the Assassin? Which one do you think is best to go with first? Neither one is best, it's whichever one you prefer. Let's go with this one here. <laughs> you ready for this, Arkov? Sorry, As Justicar Samara. Loss, Nos Astra. Okay. Arkov, I'm gonna message you because I don't want to spoil anything. Okie dokie. Uh, where the fuck is. Like, with the probes. Where's Nos Astra? Oh, they show me on the map. Jack. Oh. Oh god, there's they're all in the same place. What the fuck? Guys. Well, you're going to be here for a minute. Yep. There's every look everything is fucking here. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you could also see Liara. Oh my god. It's true. 
Just, just, just don't tell to... Liora that you're hunting down another Asari. She might get wrong ideas. Yeah. You've already broken her heart have once I and killed her mother, so... Ilium before? You have not. God, who do we bring? That's a great question. Well, depending upon what you're going to do might inform who you bring. How, I, I, dude, Zaid is growing on me. I really like him. He's fantastic. He's he's murder grandpa. He's my murder grandpa. And I like Why not bring murder grandpa and murder son? It's true. You could do that. That's true, yeah. Let's do that. Let's bring Grunt. I brought, brought him. Make sure everybody's decked out in their good gear. Right. I think so, right? Mm hmm. You gotta. You have to. I think you still have to equip weapons to them. I forget it. I don't think the game does it automatically. You have two options for battle rifle. I think it automatically equips the best upgrades. Yeah, I think that this should be good. The series, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 63 months. And Ellie Kid, thank you so much for 100 bits. More space fun is watching you pop and pop and crazy Uncle Bosco. Also, like to boot you, thank you for the 50 bits. Also, we still remember Purple Jenkins. Yo, we're going to Vancouver, let's go! What? This looks a bit like Vancouver. Does it? I mm, I don't know about that. Vancouver has flying cars. Well, no, but... <laughs> oh, God damn it! we're getting met by police again. Are these robots? Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. I was concerned for a moment. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh oh, Liara's tell me about for you. Zostra. It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry oh, world. It's in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. Ooh, what's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. Huh. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order there to remain no competitive as a Terminus say. Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided Whoa. they're labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Oh, Jesus Christ. Slavery? Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> you can what? Pick what you want. Yeah, it's I your I can't believe dream. in a sorry world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured it's still servants slavery. Are I know. Slavery. <laughs> to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract yeah, that's still slavery. That well still slavery. Servants. You can call a riff raff knickknack. It's still slavery. Jesus Christ. But you know, whatever helps you sleep at night. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. I wonder if the game As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward uh, to it. You have a picture of her on your desk. That's it's the true. concerning part. You're going to have to break her heart. Do you have any yeah. recommendations Again. about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Teammate Liara Tassoni may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. 
You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The planet is your oyster. Jesus. Enjoy. Enjoy. So that Excuse advertisement me. is Excuse fucked up. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Oh lord. Go talk to this lady. Commander. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. Poor Commander Shepard. I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize God damn it, you this anywhere. This woman's gonna sell me crystals and palm readings. Get me out of here. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Novaria? Which one was Novaria? That was the corporate hellhole. The frosty one. Oh. The one, the one with the, the mother and the daughter. You were trying to sneak in and help. Right. No, right. that's not Novaria. Corporate, Novaria corporate is the ice planet with, with the bugs. Yeah. Oh, what that one. Were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We oh, build. Right. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. Oh, shit. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Okay. Hmm. See, your choices have consequences. I love this, though. I'm, I'm kind of glad I saved them. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship. And I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. Hmm. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated, as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Huh. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Oh. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful they spirit have... and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. The Rachni don't really have mind control powers, but the Asari are sensitive to the Rachni and vice versa. Because if you remember, the Rachni Queen was speaking through an Asari commando who was basically on the cusp of dying. Yeah. And they were able to speak through them. Yeah, I was gonna say, um makes sense yeah can you tell me where the Rachni are I'm afraid not I don't even have that information myself any longer after I met the Rachni Queen that information was removed it's not painful 
but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to, and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Uh, Gorn ZX55, thank you so much for 100 bits. Uh, the reason I didn't allow Bladesinger multi-class is because I, everyone does it every single time, and I'm kind of tired of it, and I just basically was like, hey, if you're gonna go Bladesinger, go full Bladesinger, I'm tired of dealing with Bladesinger multi-classes every time this class is picked, essentially. Like, every time I've seen Bladesinger, it's never been just Bladesinger, and it's always been hybridized with, like, one or two other things, and I'm just, like, kind of tired of it, and I'm like, just... Just play the class as a whole class, please, if you're going to. It's, it's kind of like Wild Magic Sorcerer. I on When I was handing out, like, um, hey, here's all the you know races and classes, this is what, what's available. Uh, Wild Magic Sorcerer was available, but I basically had a little addendum saying, like, hey, I have run, like, three campaigns, like, two <laughs> long form with Wild Magic Sorcerer and just so many in one shots. I don't dislike the class, but I would really like a break from it if I can just not have two games running it at the same time, long form, essentially. So. Uh, Alright, meaning a message. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you oh, are fighting so the, the ones who did that, and she promises did. to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, your choices come back. Yeah, the fact that they're will like... Will any of them bite you? That's the... Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. What the fuck is this? Shepherd? Speaking of Navaria... The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal oh, Affairs. Right. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. What, what's wrong with your eyes, woman? Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. Ooh. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Who you see? I'm working on a top secret project. Mostly putting together a team and doing research right now. Sounds vague. No offense taken. I've been undercover enough to know how it goes. Then don't ask. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. Oh. And don't forget to drink your beer. Well, that's not suspicious. Oh, she dropped something underneath it. Yep. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is it right. Good. <laughs> Paragon. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course, I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. The one you want to talk to is this person here. Yep. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. I'm a big spender. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. 
What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Hmm. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. <laughs> what about the schematic? What about schematic? <laughs> Should I ask about that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the Why not? Sees the schematic she's trying to sell. I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Oh, oh that was good. get her ass. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Hell yeah, let's go. And she files got papers you. fast. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she's already sitting there. She's like Lynn. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sorry. So ageless and superior. Um, then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. Uh, uh, phrasing? Uh, He's talking about her job, both of you. Uh huh. Oh, nailing a sorry. I didn't get it. I just thought she was being racist. <laughs> no. Oh my God, our brains went to different places. Uh, yeah, I also. <laughs> I thought she was being racist. And then Arco was like that, and I'm like, what? And I was like, oh. Oh my god, yeah. I didn't think about that. Hmm. It must be nice having a what job. Mean, that you Monty, really enjoy. I'm sorry. I wanted to be a cop or C sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Well, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. Hmm. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Hmm. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Take care, you undercover bitch. Godspeed. Wh Whoa. Oh, that was bitch in the endearing way. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Mm. It's like the Draco bitch, you know. Bitch. Ah, yes, of course, the Draco I need bitch. Minimal heat increase and speed. And speed. For human expansion as the on I like the Molus. Hello there, Earth Clan. I was curious what you were doing. We're gonna have that asshole arrested. Okay. Uh... No, no, go speak with her. I'm curious. Go have a conversation. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no. That crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. In here? Oh, no. Here. Uh huh. 
Oh, god damn it! It's just mm. a bar, Monty. Bruh. Bruh. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross species fluid contact. And it completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a Florian. How could he be so insensitive? Huh. You know, as a human, I resent that remark. Is it this guy? Yep. Yep. You're really holding out on me? Poor boy. I'm a man on the edge. Wait. I got nothing to yep. lose. You want to yep. see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's Oh, it's still bugged. Okay. Commander Shepard? Hey. If you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass Worth with a randy. singularity? Shepard, over 12 months. Shepherd? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Burr. For fucks. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a specter. <laughs> Look oh, at my face. Uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me Oh what my god, the fuck idiot. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Oh my god. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. <laughs> you've got uh you've got some choices monty Fuck so yeah up. this is still bugged it doesn't remember how you dealt with him last time oh, really? yeah Aww. last time you, didn't you convinced stick a gun him to go back home and be a family man and yeah now, you didn't stick a gun in his face it's a bug with mass effect going between them they've never gotten the flag right to determine whether you had the paragon choice or the renegade choice so the game defaults to renegade oh it's so annoying All right, well, I'm going to talk to him, because... Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. He's wearing your armor. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Why is he at seven on her? What? I mean, you've got a lot to Conrad, figure out. Any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time. Oh my to God! You were <laughs> a big jerk. But you I was a big jerk. What do you fucking mean? I was a big jerk. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, the background's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep, he's like, yeah, I fucking... She probably yeah. just wanted to be done with she it. She wanted yeah. to get rid of his ass? No, <laughs> you crazy motherfucker. Jesus. <laughs> so you just wander the galaxy writing wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Fuck's sake, man. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. God damn it. God, I kind of want to be strict with him. You, you do whatever you want to do. The deed to this place. This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. Oh my god. She told me about it when I introduced myself. <sighs> Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this oh. undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my I like bag. this bartender. Just let me know if you need yeah. any help, <laughs> Shepard. Ma'am, I am so sorry. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. 
that makes the other customers nervous. Oh no, what do Anyway, I? this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? Kind of reminds me of Ilga. Yeah, honestly. When, they say, when she says a sorry matriarch, you go, ah, I see above my pay grade. You have a good day, ma'am. You're an a sorry matriarch? I thought matriarch served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in oh. the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Oh shit. Her dad is a fucking Krogan? Yep. It should have been me! Not him! <laughs> me! Wh what? You wanted your dad to be a Krogan? Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Jesus Goddess, Christ. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Sexy times with Krogan and your the Sarri. Your fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan. Didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, <laughs> and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Oh shit. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. She had Definitely a Krogan father with that line. Yeah, yep. she's a fucking Krogan child, Jesus. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. <laughs> you know, landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen in the muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. That's incredible. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years Ooh. back. Their ships were hanging bare assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blew up my ass. So now, I serve drinks. I love this woman. I love her so much. <laughs> yep. I love this woman so much. I want. Well, her. yeah, she's a Kro she's a Krogan Asari. You want her babies? I just, I know. I want her on my ship, <laughs> fucking getting uh. my people in line. When it comes to role playing games, why is it always the bartenders that are the most informative and well rounded characters? I have no idea. Love it. It's because you learn all your best life lessons at a bar making bad decisions. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pureblood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. That was a lot of information at once. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. She, so, she, first of all, she dated Alcor, which is based, and I love that woman even more for that. Um, and she had a kid, I'm assuming, with another Asari. Yeah, because that's how you get pure bloods. Yeah. Because remember, Liara said she was a pure blood and that it was an insult to be called such. Gotcha. Because the whole thing with Asari, the they try to branch out and Mate with other species. To better themselves. Gotcha, okay. 
as they want to bring new information, new genetics in, rather than just staying with themselves. Gotcha. Makes sense. Huh. I love this woman. I'm really sad I can't talk to her more about stuff. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Woman, give me a drink. I'd like something to drink. <laughs> sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Nah. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. What's it like being an Asari matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Oh. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Thanks. <laughs> I fucking love that woman. Fucking. So there's actually an interesting thing with this lady. Something they do with mechanics. Because you know how she offered you a drink? Yeah. The longer you stay here drinking, the more her appearance changes. Wait, what? Yeah. She gets makeup, more and more, the whole nine yards. And if you go over to the right, there's someone having a conversation, a Salarian and a Turian, talking about how Asari look to them. So go over there to the right. Just beyond that wall. Are these guys here? Could be. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. Try again? I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? <sighs> it makes no sense. Might have to exhaust the dialogue Calm on down, it. Man. Don't embarrass me in front of the store. Don't embarrass me in front of the store. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just here for the drinks. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? <sighs> okay, now that's offensive. <sighs> I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually Everybody. produce by there. My word. She is very limber. Very. I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but I don't have feelings of... Oh my god. She is a lovely shade of blue. Okay. That makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, is it warm in here? Okay, you see that bit there? A little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. The humans in Asari have them. Uh, we're gonna shots out of it later today. I know the line is in here somewhere. Point, yeah, but you gotta get through this. I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans too? They look just like Salarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm. I I'm not seeing the Solarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Blue Turians. Oh. Look at the head fringe. Wait, you don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilio. Oh. So now combine that with what I said about the drinks making you see her as more and more attractive earlier. Huh. It is theorized that the Asari put out a sort of pathetic field of sorts with their biotics that makes them appear More. as attractive specimens to the species looking at them. Interesting. Well, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit? As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. It's never confirmed, but I still don't see why we're here. it would explain why everyone gets on with the Asari. That makes sense, yeah. A reproduction contract. Does that mean? somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Yeah! Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat, even. 
Yeah. Exactly. He's trying so hard. Don't give up on your dreams. Oh no, that guy is trying to say, pick me, pick me. Oh yeah, 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 definitely, but you know. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a bit or something. Oh, that's sweet, but I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't gonna kill me. We could watch Fleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal. Oh my god, he is trying really hard. Orion relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program. Dude, you're fucked. Just and I you. hear that the love scenes are... What? Oh, yeah. Standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh, here. Let me fire it up. No! Uh, excuse me, human. Private conversation. Ugh. Sorry. Space, please. Sorry! So then he says... Oh, it's okay. What the fuck is this? No idea. Excuse me. I'm waiting for someone. All right, I think we're done here. I don't see anything else that we need to do. Uh, if you look at the bar, there's an option to talk to Grunt. Oh yeah, there is. I can taste hate in the air, but there's no fighting. It's like, like they don't want to. Is that right? Because it seems stupid. Rules and words to hide how they hide. Fighting is simple. Kill the guy aiming at you. Here, there's no way to tell. Stupid. <laughs> I love Grunt. I love him. I like Grunt, but I miss Rex. I miss Rex. Yeah. Shepherd. 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 Hey. I hope. New data commission. You're looking for some weapons broker near the docks, right? Oh, for Conrad, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. It might be back with the concierge. Talking about one of your recruitment targets. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. Chair administration. Oh, save here. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to save. Ilium is the gateway to the traverse, but is that gate open to one? Investment things are noting concerns. Oh, I got this place like a maze. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Corosa family. The Sana Dantius didn't give us time to pass. Lucky I got out at all, for mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. That's a name you know. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Wait, well, who's, who's that? So, do you remember that one side quest in Mass Effect 1 where that Asari lady sent you after her, uh... Oh. Sisters. Yeah, yeah. That's her, Nasana Dantius. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm excessively saving, but. No, oh, you're fine. Hello. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Okay, goodbye. God, this place would be so hard to navigate. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. This place is a little bit of a no, labyrinth. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Oh, 
Hello. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Which one was Pharos? Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave. And the one with the plant zombies. Oh, and yes. Yes. that's right. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. The I'm fight you really hated. I'm actually for just that purpose. Oh shit, that's right. Yeah, that's the colony, Zeus Hope. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some oh, medical I scans. With me. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Why are you green? <laughs> Can't Just tell ask someone the contract that, Monty. Designed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. You can ask her if you want, Monty. The I'm going to, yeah. Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. Mm. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Okay. There you go. See, look at all this stuff from one that they put in here. God, I love playing trilogies. Alisa. Nothing to declare? Move along. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Solarians oh, great. and Turians are no better. Mm. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Cool. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmage, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. 
or my daughters who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I lost some people too, you know? It's, it's important. We gotta keep going, okay? I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. There we go. Therapy. We did a therapy, everybody! Also, uh, I'm gonna butcher your name. I'm so sorry. McCagnius, thank you so much for rating the party of 11. Hello. See, See, it was the memories of Jenkins that helped you resolve that. What the fuck do you mean it was the memory of Jenkins? Well, you said you lost people too, and they're like, the only one I remember is Jenkins. Oh, fuck, you're right. God damn it. It was. Oh, just... wait, didn't we also lose Ashley? We... No, we lost Caden. We lost Caden. Caden. Yeah. Our, uh, we, I we forgot lost... about him, but I remember Jenkins. Bosco's favorite character we lost, yeah. Caden? No. Absolutely. Oh, no, no, no. He's your favorite. No. Yeah. Nope. Oh, I know that's Karth. <laughs> it's okay, Bosco. We, we missed them too. I I would like to remind you, Arkov, that Did one day you were going to have to cross my path, yeah. and that should not be I something that I remember you said. Yeah. <laughs> what do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Oof. Your sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Oh, that might be the weapons yeah, merchant. I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what You mean the name that's his weapons merchant? Yep. Got it. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. No, no, yes, we're not. That place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh stop the red. God damn it! Dealers. They're all fucking. There you go. That bar doesn't have any red sand dealers. What no, are you Monty, trying to pull? Oh, so you're not as dumb as your friend. Damn well, it! Well, it was worth a shot. I'll be going now. And lest you get angry, you should know that this whole place is under video surveillance, mandatory for weapon sales. I'll still help you. You think it's you a lie, though, because you're gonna set her up. With it? I didn't threaten anybody. Your human friend did. It's not my fault he misunderstood me when I talked about red sand dealers. And my surveillance cams had an unfortunate malfunction while I told him about the situation. Why'd you send Conrad to harass the owners of that lounge? Are you kidding? Prime real estate like that? I'd make a killing. I get nothing at this crappy kiosk. I'd have been an idiot not to put some pressure on them, and your friend was easy to convince. You don't see an easy opportunity like that every day. I don't want to fucking do this. You don't want to, uh, set her up to end the situation? Uh, I could. Yeah. Uh... That's, why it's the, that's why it's a paragon choice, it's technically a lie. Now that we all know where we stand, why don't you go take over your new bar? They're ready to hand over the deed. You expect me to believe that you're going to help me? Why wouldn't I? You get what you want, and I get a nice discount, right? Good business for everyone. For a human, you're pretty smart. So what do we do now? Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Well, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. <laughs> Thanks for the help. 
Can I go back and watch <laughs> getting your ass beat by the bartender? <laughs> I don't know, but let's go find out. Return to Conrad. Oh, shit. Yep. Yep. Oh, let's go. <laughs> you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12 to the fish dog food shack. Tasty fare and skewers are just five credits for a limited time. Or for the connoisseur. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to, I want to see the bartender beat her ass. <laughs> so <laughs> just throw her across the room. I just, yeah, like I did to a classmate. Did I ever tell you that I threw a girl into a table once? Like I threw like a fucking frisbee. What? Oh, I'll tell you that story. In a minute. I wish to hear this story. Y you put someone through a table? No, I didn't put them through a table the into a table. Have, I'll make do. All right, it, it's, it's still a, good. It's a whole story. I'll, I'll talk to you. Kind of like that time I put someone through a wall. You, want to know a secret? you put someone through a wall? No, I did not yep. put someone through a wall. No, Arkov did. All right. I did back in high school. All right, I'm coming. Damn it! This is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled. I was told that you had agreed to sell. Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 All right. What the bartender will say. I wanna, can I talk to her? Sure. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. Jesus Christ, woman. Just looking around. <laughs> <laughs> as always. Fucking hell, woman. All right. She's like, I'll blow you for 30 <laughs> bucks, but it ain't gonna be on my table. Arrested. Oh, you blew her cover. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Oh, my really? God. You did a great job, Conrad. Now, please, go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. It's gonna fucking die. Go home. <laughs> really? Go home. You just told him to go home. He might make it. Welcome back. Really? God damn it. Can I get you anything? Okay, right. She's got no addition, Sorry. Though. No sex. Just, just looking just, around. Yeah, yeah. Pleasure as always. No right, sex no in the champagne room. Alright. Back to what we were doing. Sex? No. What? Oh. So oh, you were going I, to tell us the story about table. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. table. So when I was in high school, uh, my school offered a women's fitness program specifically to like it, it, you had to pay for it. It was like kind of a. a, a Later today we release our annual list of Ilium's ten richest I'm gonna stop. Are the heavens still bright as sorry blue, or have the volus Hold on. Um, so basically, <laughs> in in high school we had this um, we had this fitness program. That was like a woman specific one so it was only for 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 women um and essentially uh like we learned self-defense we learned like di dietary stuff and like a bunch of other stuff um and i'm just gonna say this right now to all all my dudes who've ever done like uh pe or like you know i think it's is it pe in america you call it pe yes yeah. yes when you mix like especially in high school when you mix the boys and the girls together the girls don't really want to do shit, but when it's just girls, that's when it turns into fucking, like, Highlander or, like, fucking 300. Like, when women are together and there's no boys around, we turn into fucking, like, warrior machines. <laughs> like, Amazon warriors. Because, like, I remember, like, I had class in PE, like, it was a mixed class of boys and girls, and, like, the girls all we didn't get along at all like the, we we really were like polarizing to each other and a lot of us didn't want to do shit the moment it was just girls like all of us were like a hundred percent there it was a complete difference i i don't know why and it's like can't confirm okay cool i've heard this from other people like once once you kind of like once it's all women they act fucking entirely different and so this was the case for our class. We had, like, I think 20 girls in this, like, women's fitness program, which was honestly pretty good. Like, we learned self-defense. Uh, we would go out on, like, field trips to do, like, exercises, like, go on hikes. It was honestly a really good class. Um, but one of the things that we would do in class is we would play Red Rover. Um, however, our version of Red Rover was a little bit different. Um, basically... What you, the, how the game worked is that it would be one person in the middle with a mat. Like, we'd have this, like, blue, like, kind of, like, you know the mats that are, like, contact mats? 
on the ground. And then there would be all the class on one side. And the whole thing is you would, a whistle would be called and you would try and run it to the other side. But the person in the middle would have to grab you and pull you to the mat. And if you touch the mat, then you were also in the middle and had to grab people basically. It's not Red Rover, but it's like a similar concept. Does it make sense? No. What? I didn't, it, that didn't register in my head at all. Bosco, am I making sense? I, I do remember wrestling. Like, if you did wrestling, oh there was, God. like, a mat that they would put down. Yeah, there's, like, a mat. But it was, like, it was like maybe, like... like Probably tumble mats. Yeah, like a tumble like mat. Like that gymnast used. Like yeah. one square of a tumble mat. And so, basically, yeah. there would be a person in the middle, and then a whistle would be blown. Everyone would run from one part of the gym to the other, and the person in the middle would have to grab someone and, like, drag them to the mat in the middle. And if you touch the mat, then you were part of the middle. So, like, it would yes. go to two it's people. It's like a, a game of zombies, but... Basically, yeah. You're trying... Yeah. So, so basically, we would play this game, and it was, like, fucking war. Like, this was not like, hee hee, we're playing a fun game. It was like, if you touch me, I shall slay you. And, like, people would grab you by the fucking leg and drag you like a fucking horror creature in, like, a horror film. And you'd be like, no, like, kicking and screaming. Um, and I remember at one point, like, it was like half the class was in the middle and the other half was not out yet. And I remember running to the other side, and one of my classmates grabbed me by the waist. I grabbed her by the arms, and in a fit of, like, <laughs> adrenaline, fucking threw her like a frisbee. Like, I grabbed her by the arms and flung her. And she flew through the air, and her back, like, her arm and her back hit, like, a bunch of tables we had piled up in the corner. And there was, like, this loud crashing noise. And everyone stopped what we were doing, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. She had, like, a giant bruise. I felt fucking awful. I was like, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. She's like, you went fucking crazy. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't want to go in the middle. <laughs> Rare moment <laughs> of Monty awakening the dog in her. Jesus Christ, you were not wrong. But yeah, I threw, I threw another girl like a frisbee into a table, and I felt really bad about it. And she got, she got, she wasn't terribly hurt, but she was bruised enough that the teachers were like, oh, shit. Like, it got, shit got real when we played that game. Like, it was, like, it was do or die, man. It's it's true, though. I've noticed the PE phenomenon, too, where yeah. having the girls separate is better. Because we had integrated PE, and I got in trouble for not remembering it was integrated. Yeah. Well, I just, I don't know, I, I, and again, I'm not saying this is universal, just for me, but, like, man, the girls did not give half a fuck when we were mixed with the boys. No, because they, they would have us play basketball against each other, and uh, it didn't it didn't end well for the girl. But it was, like, yeah, it was the moment it was, like, all girls, it was, it was great. The last time I had integrated PE was back in middle school you can sell something that and one of the girls ran full tilt into me full speed and just bounced off me and fell flat on her ass will never notice I did not move <laughs> yeah. I got thrown out of PE Oof. what yeah we, we were playing basketball and it was like guys and girls were playing against each other and on the same team and there was a girl trying to guard me and I remember I went up for a layup and I went straight through her chest to like get to the basket and I made the layup and she hits the floor and I like, grabs her chest. You? <laughs> but but obviously you men and women are phy physiologically different in their chest region. And so the teacher was like out and sat me on the bleachers for the rest of the class. Jesus. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. Is this a poet? Or if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand Oh, this guy's great. Uproot. Let me talk to him. This is this is Zan as a Krogan. I fucking love him. What do you want? Sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Oh, he likes you. The Krogan's reading those love poems to get your attention. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by well, <laughs> wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> I love it. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century wow. till you die. Wow. No offense. Wow. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. 
can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Fuck, he is so sweet. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You gotta make a decision! You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Dude, fucking take him back. He's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Fucking my heart, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> oh, yay. Monty Matchmaker. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, that's so cute. Fuck. Fish. And you keep it alive this time. I'm yeah, gonna, don't I'm, kill them. No, I'm just gonna buy fucking boats and shit. I got my hamster. You can't keep pets alive, so you're just gonna buy miniatures. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy. <laughs> Monty! Yeah. Oh my god! For weapons. Ooh, heavy skin <laughs> weave would be good for you. Heavy skin weave? Oh, it's expensive though. But I'll buy it. It's a health upgrade for you. Yes, what about it costs fish? money to be better. She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. Uh, <laughs> oh that. my God, Dad, a knob. Maybe a God, Dad, she doesn't need fish hairs. Hey, your blue shifting already. Have a knob. That's funny, just right? Just tell her to go to a skin color and the Doppler effect. Dad, just get her anything, or don't. I need to get her something. A memento. Cute. There's a lot of really cute interact. I fucking love the Krogan with the poetry though. That shit's amazing. That's Char. So, that's so great. Uh, in before very, Unexpectables 2 gets a Goliath poet. Oh, this is a very, very rare Gerar energy, honestly. I'm on a call. Okay, sorry. Rare not gonna do fucking poetry. No, he won't, but he'd try and be terrible at it. Yeah. I could see that. <laughs> I could see him getting Otho to teach him how to write poetry. I think Kai would be the poetic one. He's the I just song guy. Contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Only with death. <laughs> Terry. Boy. Oh, Red Rose of Herfland. <laughs> Doros, Doros would write poetry, but it'd be the most like direct poetry ever. I think. I think Doros he also wouldn't read it. He would just hand it to her. Yeah, it would yeah, be like, "Oh, Willow, your face is nice, and I like it." Doros. Willow, your face is nice. I find it pleasant. Doros. So it's a haiku. Got it. You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. 
Are we gonna kiss? What's happening? Why are you touching me? Don't touch me. Don't touch- Don't kiss me! What the hell was that? What was that energy? Yeah. Uh, sorry, man. I don't know. Cultural I'm stuff. just reminded of the time... Like, you know how you can write a paragraph and form another sentence with the first letter of every sentence? Oh, yeah. Sometimes you I once sent Monty a coded sentence know. like that. Maybe it's because very it's haphazard. Better. Very easy to tell. And then she blasted me back with a bazooka. <laughs> Do you have that? It's like still? a water gun versus a mortar. <laughs> That's right, you sent me like a long message with the first word, like, wrote out something, and then I replied back with my own version. Fucking, yeah. Like, mine was, you could tell I was trying something, because none of the sentences flowed together at all to hide the message. <laughs> and then Monty comes back with a paragraph. It was a water pistol versus a mortar. <laughs> well, if you come at the king, you best not miss. Fucker, I went to- I was in a writer's club at fucking university. What did you think was I was gonna bad? say, you're fighting on her home turf, so it's <laughs> to be understood that you're at a disadvantage. I'll still try, though. God, there's so much to do here, and I feel like we haven't even done our main shit yet. We haven't. God. Holy. You still gotta go to that office up above the trade place. Dear lord. Also, I didn't mention it before, but I love Grunt's picture in the bottom of the screen. <laughs> it's like too close. I'm a little scared because last game I pissed off the Shadow Broker. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. Oh, yes, she will. You're Liara's assistant. Yes, Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts. But I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. It's You're Liara's so great. assistant. I don't. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that. Uh oh. Not me. Uh oh. Uh oh, personal goals. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Of course, Commander. Time to speak with the girlfriend you tried to dump. Oh, Lord. Yep. Here we go. Oh, here you go. Sorry, Commando Unit before. Few humans have. Oh, God, she's different. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. Oh, no, she's scary with now. My mind. Shepard, Nixeris, hold my calls. Oh god! Oh no! Yep. God damn it! It didn't save the fact that we're romantic! Yeah! <laughs> Shit! Oh no! Oh no! It's okay. Oh. She broke off the kiss before it happened. Yeah, she didn't kiss you. Said you were alive, but I never believed. Why are you me now? Oh, it's good. It's to good see to see you. you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. Oh god, fuck. Oh god, this is a minefield again. Why? Every time Enjoy. we... Enjoy! No! Here you go. How do I dump her? Well, not dump her, but how do I let her <laughs> dump <this? laughs> Uh, our car, are you taking notes? <laughs> For what? I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, Monty, you had the easy way out when your character died. Unfortunately, you lived. God now you get it. to live with the consequences. God damn it. Oh, well, you know, you could not How do I dump her? <laughs> you could not give in to peer pressure. And just go with your original choice. Oh my god, I can feel Gaius apparating behind me to kill me. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. 
I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise, someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. Okay, but how do I break up with you? That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. Hmm. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. Oh shit, I can ask about it. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else How I can I help you with, with her? let me know. Oh fuck, let's get the shadow broker. Guys, help me! You what? You have to make choices. What do you want to know? Do not do the shadow broker. That is DLC. Information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. Gatekeeping is breaking up with me. Okay. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. God damn it! I'm so pissed that I was mean to her, to and it didn't are. matter. Oh, that's what happens when you deal with peer pressure. Oh, yep. I hate it. <laughs> this is like I'm looking for the best tech upgrade. I'm always yeah. like fuck the hell. I'm very friendly in real life. Like whenever I meet someone I'm very friendly with them because I just like to be nice and I think that's just the way to be, right? Mm -hmm. And like every time it's just like God, you know, I'm always so worried, I'm just like I hope they don't think that it's like I guess flirting. I need minimal heat increase. To be fair, that is a fairly normal concern for any woman to have when inter interacting with any male. I think just in general, because it's it's gone both ways, to be honest with you. <laughs> At least for me, anyway. But, um... Well, you are amazing, so that doesn't surprise me. Oh, my God, shut up. Um, but, like, I'm always worried that, like... In video games, it's, it, it feels like, fuck, there's no outs, but, like, in real life, you could definitely be, like, I'm sorry, I think you misunderstood, but it's very nice knowing you and whatnot. It, where am I hacking, by the way? Where am I going here? You just have to wander around to different points on the map. Okay, Does it, is it listed where I need to go? Uh... Nope. Not really. You kind of just gotta look around for things you can hack. And for the record, everyone, Monty is the one that asked me out. Yeah. Listen, I know the data is vital to the crew 
Rosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Oh, this is the first I need to talk to. That is for thing. Alright, well, since we're here, we might as well do it. Fuck it. Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. You did her. that. Her loss. Oh. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Hmm. Sounds like Garrus. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She oh, had the killer's sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. Huh. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower One. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana is just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Oh, shit. Should I do this now? Might as well. I mean, do you want to do it now? Yeah, might as well. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Asana, I don't care why he does it. Okay. You're just offering your help. No strings attached. You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. Fair enough. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Okay. Let's Fair. do it. Let's go. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Okay. You hours later. Might as well Who are you the, taking? Might as well take the boys. Murder boys! Murder boys! Okay. Pepsi in. Get ready. Are you ready for some violence? Really guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin. You planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. Full sequence. Very Star Warsy. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The uh, Eclipse will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right, let's drop on the towers, boys. Fortnite right, reference. Let's do this. Hold on. It's very different from Mass Effect, in hindsight.
Oh my god, Grunt is so crammed in the car. Good luck, I will Shepard. say you're about to do one of my favorite parts, and I'm really curious what you do. Oh, really? Arkov, do you know what I'm talking about? I do. Okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same page, even with no reference. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man, there's going to be no time to save us. Stop me! He's excited about the dog and immediately puts them down. I'm sorry. It's a very American approach. Wow! Am I wrong? No! It's just, I can't believe you would insult Monty by calling her American. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save really fast. I wanna eat something. I'm really hungry. Give me two seconds, please. My stomach is no worries. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna I've eat. been eating in the background, so I get you. I'm gonna eat a cake from my boxu box, so. Bokusu! I got, a melon, I got a melon roll cake in my boxy box that I Oh, good. See, even Leo in the chat knows what I'm talking about. Ah. Oh, wow. This smells And like I'm it. pretty sure the entire chat knows what I did. Don't say anything about it because Monty will experience it and then we can have a conversation. <laughs> Which is, uh, let's take this opportunity to do a friendly reminder. No spoilers. You guys have actually been really, really good about that, but... If you happen to know something's coming up, do, don't vaguely hint at it. Yeah. Basically, if you've played this game before, no. No, you have not. Yeah. I'm going to go get a drink that has water in it. No. Ah. <sighs> Biting tongue very, very hard. Good on you. So how's everybody doing? I guess we'll call this a Bosco Halftime Show special. I'm going to get some chocolate milk. Chocolate milk to go with your food. Ah, bubble wrap. Oh, no. Oh, this is your first time, too? Nice, Ellie. I no longer have a tongue with which to bite. Oh, no. Yes, Jakar, you can hear one live. Wait, why don't you watch Unexpectables live? Is it a bad time slot? I know, I'm just curious. Like, is it a time zone thing? Is it a work thing? Or do you just hate us? <laughs> exactly. Look, I just, I want more people to watch live because I love that shit. Because I work early AM and I'm in North Carolina. Ah, I'll time do it. zone thing. That'll do it. Oh, man. I'm looking at these gummed up minis I got, and I'm going to put them into the jar. Can I? Wait. Is anybody Bosco, here? you were the first person to actually say my name right. I'm so happy. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I can I ask Chad a question? Maybe someone will know. Yeah. Anyone yeah. here? Anyone here like no chemical shit? Which is kind of an ominous question to ask. Uh, kind of a little bit. I did like chemistry in high school and college. It so, depends on what the question is. So I've been stripping minis with Super Clean, which is like a degreaser okay. product. How do I dispose of the Super Clean when I'm done with it? It's biodegradable. That sounds like something you have to look up. Canada's local laws about. Yeah, see, I've been trying Because there's to... a lot of stuff you can't do that we can. Yeah. Dilute it with water? A lot of times you can dilute stuff with, with water and then dispose of it. I might have to, like, call a place and be like, you, hey. So normally what I, what I do with that kind of stuff is, depending upon what kind of a chemical it is, I will dilute it with water and then pour it down the drain. Or you can put it in a bottle and, like, bring it to a disposal site. I'll have to figure out where my disposal site is, but I... I like, honestly, just, uh... Because not everything just, you can dilute with water and pour down no, the drain. No, no, I, I don't want to, like, kill fish or something, right? But I have, like, my jars that I've been using to strip cake off of minis, and... Because I've seen people just it's... say, like, oh, you can just pour it down the sink, it's fine, it's biodegradable, but you want to catch, like, the paint pieces? 
which I is do there, have a sweetener for. What is it called? Because there might be a, uh, it's uh, called Super Clean. It's called Super Clean. Let me find it here. Jessica's research says you can drop off leftover pesticides and solvents and cleaning supplies at free. For free at more than 100 municipal collection sites or 300 municipal collection events across the province. Uh, this is, this is what I'm talking about. Like this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh... Yeah, even on their website, uh, they say to dispose contents and container in accordance with local, state, and federal or international regulations. Okay, so yeah, I'll have You to... will have to so find would... a disposal center. Yeah, that's yep. specifically a corrosive liquid. They do not want that going down the drain or yeah, in the so ground. Yeah, so while it is okay. biodegradable, I still wouldn't pour that down the drain. Okay, cool. I have, I have a bottle of isopropyl alcohol resin I need to talk, get rid of anyway. I should probably figure out where to place it. There's apparently household hazardous waste drop-off sites across the entirety of Canada. I just don't know where it is. I have to figure it out. Uh, hmm, call to find out, generally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, at least I know. So I definitely didn't need fresh resin for these karma effects, because they are dumb. I work with a ton of chemicals because I'm a janitor. As long as you dilute it enough before you drop it off, everything will be gravy. I just still don't know how much it would be enough, so I'd probably be safer just to drop it off at a thing. Anyway. Uh, I've got a link for you, Monty. Uh -huh. This might be helpful. I don't really know. Let's see. Uh, yeah, actually. It just depends on the area. Rebel Stoke? That's not going to help me. I have nowhere near those places. Mm. God, they all close at 4 p.m. Christ. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, boy. I'll have to figure out where it is in my town. So, recycling locations, it also says. I'll have to check and see. I'll have to call oh, and ask, I've, probably. I, I found one. I won't say anything live on stream, but I will link you to this. Oh, did you find one in my town? Uh, yes. Oh, cool. Thanks. Uh, Boca the Dragon, thank you ready for party 15. Hello. DD question, have you ever been in a moment where you started giving the new player and said player got completely overwhelmed by the game and had you help them with it? Dude, I'm dealing with that right now with Darcy, but it's, it's totally fine. Um, Darcy is currently, like, playing the, the actual long form, and, like, we've just been helping her out with her sheet and stuff. It helps if you have a player who's experienced, like, sitting next to a player and having them, uh like help that player out as they're going all right i mean we did that with sarah for prince division didn't we yeah um, what the fuck is a bear? Boom. yeah rebel stuff's pretty cool it's a nice place Finally get back to the action, which is good because it's been a hot second. You remember how to use the cover system? Uh, yes. And I remember how I can use my funny poo poo abilities. I'm so proud of you. Help. Oh, Still shit. ticking. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> I can't breathe. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Really? This guy? Why? Right. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. 
They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. <laughs> oh my god. He's protecting you. classes in this game. Yeah, he sure is broken now. Ah. Oh god, the crate! Oh. How, I can't believe it, the fragile crate was fragile all along. <laughs> Mr. Insecure, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub for 63 months. Impact shot, thank you for letting me know. My spot. I was gonna shoot from there. Ah! You had enough time to react and you chose to stand there. I love it. How are we doing, lads? We're good? Everything dead? Bitch from Morthrandor saying, Oh, look, an exploding doggy. I want to pet him. Boom. Yep. There's ammo. God damn it, it didn't go all that way. Need some cover. <laughs> what the fuck? 
fuck was that scream? That was the sound of an ass whooping. It sounds like Yuri Lowenthal. Like two dogs exploded. Yep, I was correct. That was Yuri Lowenthal. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the fan is not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I. Uh... Oh. Ooh. Uh oh. 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 Uh Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Hello. Oh my god. Oh, I love it when the window pane glass breaks. It's cool. I'll put them down. I eat goose! Shooting into melee, Monty Glue. To be fair, she can't do it as freely in this game. True. That's why I have to be judicious about when I use that. How dare you move out of the way of my gunfire? You are so large. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shooting into melee, Monty Glue. Are we good? Are we done? We're done. Good. No, we're not done. 
God, look at all the ammo, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I saw a door over here. Are we still not done? All clear here. He won't let me save. Oh, it's just another way around. Oh, god damn it. Probably not going to be able to save while you're doing this mission. I guess not, yeah. Which means just don't die. Probably have checkpoints. Probably. Maybe. It's a possibility. Allegedly. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy! The invisibility is clutch. You're using ammo powers too? I'm so proud of you. You are. Okay, here. Anybody else? Anyone else? I'm handing out bullets. Free samples. First come, first serve. Now I can save. You did it! I did Good it! Good job. Oh, Our sales. Ooh, a new sniper! Oh. Oh. The Viper Sniper! Oh. You have a Viper! Beautiful. Said beautiful. And he said, yes, you are. Yo, shut the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Heads up. We'll probably have company. We should get behind stuff. Good. Have a pleasant day. Cut me up. Combat ahead. drone. Sniper you picked up. It's the new sniper. Damn. Yep. Rapid fire. <laughs> Rapid fire single shot. Oh my. Arguably oh more my. accurate. The perfect yeah. gift for the perfect lady. <laughs> Why did you get took the words right out of my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> you got super southern. And more ammo capacity, which is nice. Yeah, that's more shots. Which you're going to need if you're firing that quick. All right, get on, everybody. I'm going to... I want the world to know. I haven't heard oh. from teams four or five. Don't worry. My team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. Worry about it. We do 
Turn around very slowly. Damn it. <laughs> ah, fuck. Yo, look at Grunt! Look at my son! Mm -hmm. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nassana's mercs. Who are you? I'll ask you again. Tell me where the assassin is. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. That's Renegade. They'll be all over you. Is a little information really worth dying over? Is Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. <laughs> Bye. Damn it! What? Damn it! What? Ah! Sorry. That was the moment. <laughs> ah! Oh. I had a feeling she wouldn't. I didn't think she would either, but I really wanted her to. Why? What did you do? So, if you choose that renegade option, you boot him out the window. Oh! It's Monty, amazing. you were boring? Sorry! I didn't want to <laughs> kill him. I needed information. Yeah. That's fair. If it was an option, you'd have to tell me. You should have been like, do the renegade option, and then I would have. No, no because I don't that's want taking the choice away from you. Yeah. Well, now, now chat is like, you get a great one-liner from Shepard. Yeah. No, no, no! Don't load! No, 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 no! Because that no, 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 no! You can watch it on YouTube. Don't change your choices. It's okay. When it comes to those, when it comes to those interrupts, Monty, whether they're renegade or paragon. Those are for you and you alone to choose in that moment, yeah. however you're We're feeling. We're not going to influence them. I, I booted like him I, out the window because I, I was like, fuck this guy. I feel like I was disappointing Chad a little bit. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. It's your playthrough. It's your playthrough. What do you want? People want me to do I kind of want to see it, though. You want to see it? It's oh, then put right. down a save right now so you can come back to this Yeah, one. you can come back to it. Yeah, save here. All right, all right, all right. You've already you made your choice, and now you can experiment. Yeah. And then load this, the last one, not the one you just did. This one here. Oh, this is an auto save. That should do it. Oh, this was the auto save. Okay. So before okay, so the, the one right save. before. Yeah. I just, I love, you're, I think you'll love the cutscene that happens. Alright, let's see it, let's see ass. it. You're hamming it up, it's you're inside. So let's do it. I love it. <laughs> I'm also a much bigger asshole than you. We don't need any reinforcements. I'll take care of it. I also like that that loading screen said there's no galactic dating service. <laughs> Turn around very slowly. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Tell me where the assassin is. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot. How about goodbye? Oh shit! Got him! Fucking got, got him! him! <laughs> See, right. Yeah, you can I'll, reload. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Actually, no, you, know you can reload. I will Just load reload. It. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, I load it. uh, I've got nothing more to say to you. One thirty-nine. About goodbye. Fucking goddamn it! <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Sorry, I was boring, Chad. I apologize. No, you're good. No. It's a very you choice. Arkov and I both knew you probably weren't going to boot him. The up interrupts are purely your choice, Monty. Yeah. The source disk holds a lot of list of genetic information for the Carosa family. Remember that Salarian who was freaking out about Nasana? That's oh, what he's wanting. Right, right, right. But yeah, those interrupts, those are your story choice choices to make however yeah. you want. It's all over the place. Like when you were going to get Garrus and you totally fried that guy working on the helicopter. Yep. That was fun. Yep. Exactly. See, make your own choices. On the ground, now. It also saved you from having to deal with it. Right between the eyes. 
Just red mist on a headshot. Also, Flintlock, I'm interested what scene you think it is. Obviously, don't say it, but after it happens, you can let me know. Jeepus. Mr. Hacker. Hell yeah. Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Don't do anything stupid, pal. I don't want to hurt you, That's but I will. Gay. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh, don't feel so... Talon! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the merc? Uh... Not this one. You've shot many more. Works today, but I can't take credit for him. <laughs> then who did? You tell me. What happened? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us. Then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. That's a clean headshot. Sniper rifle, I'd guess. God, I love you, Zahid. You're so cool. <laughs> Sorry, he's just so cool. <laughs> he is. <laughs> How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Aww. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I got red. Why did I get. Oh, I got paragon points. Okay, cool. You got renegade because you said not that merc. Fair enough. Honestly, when it comes to Paragon and Renegade stuff, try not to worry about it too much. Just pick what you want to pick. Let's fucking hack, baby. Mm -hmm. That's oh, that was yet. quick. Yeah, I'm getting. I, I'm, There's I'm, no best. I'm good. Oh, hell yeah, money. You are. Give it to me. <laughs> uh, par pardon? Hey, bitch, remember me? Oh, look, more power cells for your heavy weapon. About time. What's going on down there? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. Damn it! Oh, shit. Heavy weapon ammo! Let's go. Down. 
Honestly, I think in hindsight, Infiltrator was probably the best class of choice for you. Yeah, once Make you start using your ability. Yeah. Hold on. I'm too much of an FPS guy not to pick Sanku, though. I picked Vanguard because I like the tech armor. It allows I, me to just I walk like, in. I like to be sneaky. Yeah, we have three very different play styles. Yep. You should see me playing Skyrim. I can only imagine. I always went stealth archer builds, and then... Uh, stealth archer was broken. My there. second one was a summoner build where I just Pokemon... My other one was I was a summoner where I would summon like Atrox or whatever. Uh, you can change the loadout. Oh, Atronox. Atronox, that's right. And like I had a bunch of allies and they, they would go in and fight shit and I would just loot everything. In Skyrim, I was always a sniper build. Not necessarily stealth, but just I, the maximum draw distance I could fire an arrow from. I would. A front. Forget the explosives, he's already passed us! <laughs> But in Mass Effect, I just ignored the danger of walking in. That's why I love Vanguard. Where's the Sentinel? Oh, that's cute. Missile break him down. Yeah, right on your ass. Yep, yeah, Sith. New sniper? Nice. <laughs> With Rando, thank you for the 50 bits. Son. I'm a paragon of the Alliance. I also hack terminals, steal credits, and pet exploding mech dogs. Alright, they mentioned to be careful about the wind. I'm assuming that's actually something I need to be careful of. Oh, my way. Oh, shit. I'll take it. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Sorry, I'm saving excessively. I just, you know, alert. Not to be fair, it's a PC. I don't care what you do. No one is going to cross that place. Hi, Greg. I'll scooch for you. You can also command them to move up. Which you Twenty-five every sub month, resub oh, from Bill it? MSU. Bill. Um, you let me know how that works with this bullet in your face. Here she goes, Timber. Throws are solid. Yep. Those Canadian bullets are nothing to be sneezed oh, at. Oh fuck yeah, I love that. Like normal bullet, oh, just colder. Shit. Oh! Okay, guys. Look at, your boys are about to get wrecked. Oh, there goes the body. You should be able to. Though I don't think ice is gonna do much damage to him. No, fucking goddamn it! This will put him death. So ice wasn't this having an effect. Down. So I accidentally hit the sensitivity on my mouse. 
house that just took out for a second. You just put her down. Yeah, that was a fucking double tap. Don't show your head, dummy. It's always fun when you see the red mist. Mm-hmm. We are doing great. Mm hmm. Running out of ammo. I am. That's alright. You're about to get plenty. I'm sending in reinforcements. Let us know how that goes. See how that works for you. Alright, Eclipse. Let's do this. You're in a bad spot. Yeah, that's a terrible spot. They got bazookas and everything. Die. Wow. Die. Eat. I love you. <laughs> you're my grandpa, but you're really firing an impact shot. Oh, there it is. Setting in reinforcement sends one dude. Yeah, one lady. She had a rocket launcher. Yeah, okay. Oh, here we go. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. Oh, yeah! And now you're here to kill me. You're really paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking shooting for at someone. Me. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. How much do you have? You could. She fucking killed. Uh, they're innocent. not exactly the paragon she, of niceness. She killed innocent civilians. There's no way she can make this right. No, but you could take her for all she's worth. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look Thanks, at you. Jen. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people because they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing oh. with this nuisance, you and I are going to... <laughs> Oh, he looks cool. Mm-hmm. I love Thane. So this is our guy. Good. It came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. I've heard, I've seen this guy before. His voice is cool. Mm hmm. She certainly was wicked. Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. 
Like his outfit. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Bastard. All right, whatever. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Oh, boy. Indeed. Him. You're familiar with the collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. This guy's cool. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. All right, cool. Yeah. Thane is fucking, fucking so cool. He's cool, I like him. Side-by-side yep. -side plays, thank you so much for the raid. Oh, I got an achievement. The Assassin. Assassino. Assassino. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Clearly not, cheater. Jacob, what the... Mm-hmm. Oh, um... We don't... That's all right. We don't know those details yet, Arkov. Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. We are literally a group made An of mercenaries! A weapon. a weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. Hmm. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not. Oh, stop being a child, Jacob, for fuck's sake. Come on. Little... Speaking of children, let's go talk to Joker. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I'm curious to see what he says. <laughs> we've got we we've been able to do a bunch of stuff so we can talk to people now. Yeah, let's go talk to uh talk to the new guy too. New guy. New guy. Hope you guys are okay. Oh, with check you. in on the people down in engineering. Oh yeah, we should check on everybody. Every time we get someone new it always Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Our things in the cockpit. I assume everything's going well up here? Quiet enough. I... What the... Trouble? No, it's nothing. I... Son of a... Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. <laughs> <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. She was spinning the He's chair spinning on him. The chair yep. on him. I fucking love those two. I love those two. It's great. You have new messages waiting for you at the terminal, Commander. Commander, you received yep. a new message at your private terminal. All right. 
I like how you tried to avoid her like she wasn't going to call it out to you. No, because last time I got close to her and it didn't happen. Elizabeth! Elizabeth. She's some ferrets. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry I shot at you. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just wanted to reiterate it. Oh. All right. Elizabeth! I wonder if Morden has anything to say. Yeah, I'm curious. Let's get to talk to, uh... Mordeen. Let's get lost. I don't know where I'm going. You can always go the long way. I'm not talking to Jacob. He's being, he's being a child right now. Hello, Morden. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. Okay. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my... Student the, want to see the him. Krogan homeworld, Monty. Malin last wow. seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk Ooh. to them or Clan Chief. Mm, Erdnot, you say? Does that name sound familiar, Monty? Who was that? That was Rex. Oh, oh, fuck, it's Rex. That's his last name. If you go to Tuchanka, I want to see Grunt talk to Rex. Uh, yeah, I, that'd be I'll pretty take, cool. I'll take Morden and Grunt for sure. That being said, you still have a lot to do in this planet. Oh my god, yeah, we're not even close to being done yet. There's so much in this game. Jesus, we haven't done the main it's like, great. quest yet either. Well, you're technically doing all of this to get to the main quest by recruiting people, so. Yeah. Recruiting people is technically the main main quest right now. I just got a message from my wife. I've been listening to my daughter's giggle over and over. <laughs> That's so cute. This mission is over. I'm gonna give her the longest hug she's ever had. Aww. Aww. That means his family's safe. Yeah. I love that those two NPCs, you hear their story hey, evolve every time you go check on them. Me. Oh. You, got, you got deets? I was just thinking oh about God. you. Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. So I, I hear you and she were an item before. I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. <laughs> yeah. You really think the gossip monger's not gonna know? Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security. But they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. Huh. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more Fucking to talk about. Love you, Kasumi. <laughs> You're such a gossip oh, queen. Okay, this is where he hangs out. Cool. See, let's talk. You really think the gossip monger wouldn't know about you? Do you need something? a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keppril Syndrome. Are you going to be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. This guy's cool. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. 
Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. What is this? This seems mean. This shouldn't be a problem. Seems kind of mean. I wouldn't recommend that one. Yeah. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Oh. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Okay. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Uh... Oh, he probably has upgrade ideas. Oh, your religion? Oh, great. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. They don't speak, do they? Is this racist? I don't want to be a dick. Well, Hanar are telepathic, generally. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, Goddess of Motherhood and Protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, Goddess of Oceans and the Afterlife. Oh, this is cool. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. Huh. That's cool. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Okay, goodbye. I should go. I shall return to my you meditation. should ask him about upgrades. Mm. Do you need something? Sure. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's yeah. see what they've got. Okay. Let's upgrade. Headshot damage! Mmm! <laughs> Give me one second, I really need to use the bathroom. Like my no, go for it. I will be quiet. Thank you. Oh, How have you been, Bosco? I'm good. people in chat hopefully doing well and we have a raid of 69 nice hey little creepo nice. versus martin what's up welcome in how you guys doing monty did step away for just a moment but she will be right back welcome into her playthrough of mass effect 2 
The Adventures Correct. of Monty Shepard in Space. And yes, Lucky the Slime, I was in the Courage versus Scooby Doo Death Battle. So you heard correct. You did a good job. Well, thank you. But yeah, Monty's never played through the Mass Effect series, so we've been bullying her to get through all of it. And so far, she seems to be enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I consider the fact that she likes the games and is not really a sci-fi person to be a huge win. I find the fact she's using her weapon abilities and powers actively to be a huge win. Yes. It took half the game, but we got there. That took two games, technically. A game and a half. So, Brunch, I don't know a lot of details about the next Mass Effect, like where it's going to be set timeline-wise or what they're going to do, but I'm always here for another Mass Effect and for them to take another shot. I didn't want Andromeda to be the last one for obvious reasons, so I'm willing to give them a chance. I hope they get it together. I would love for Mass Effect to have at least one more really good game in the series. There's really just not much information about the new Mass Effect yet. Yeah. They've also, we have to see if it actually gets... To... That's it. We have to see if it even gets to development. Yeah, considering things with Bioware. But, as far as our progress in this game, we just recruited the assassin, Thane Krios. Hi, I'm back. Sorry. Welcome back. Also, hi, Martin. Hello, hello, Martin's friend. Sorry, you guys got me right as I was using the bathroom. Whoop. Sorry, we held down the fort. We did a really good job. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, good. Nailed it. Gracious. Thank you so much, Martin. What was Martin doing? I think, was he playing Lethal Company again? Because I noticed he's been playing that a lot lately. Uh, I don't see what they were doing. Fortnite. Fortnite. Oh, dude, we, we had a Fortnite reference earlier. It was great. We did? Yeah. We did? It said, like, remember I was in the car, and it's like, I gotta infiltrate the tower, and Weren't I was like, where are we station? dropping? Oh. oh. Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be able to Oh, that was a Fortnite reference. Right now. Yeah. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. Uh... Fork knife, furry knight. <laughs> hey, buddy. You got anything Shepherd, for me? Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it for wait fuck's for a sake, bit? dude. <laughs> do you do anything? You later, this is the one you're wanting to romance? Yeah, He's calibrating. Honestly, I'm not really feeling it, guys. He's calibrating. All he does is calibrate. He's working hard to calibrate your guns. Oh, Miranda that. probably won't have anything new to talk about since she has a mission she wants you to do. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk to her anyway. All right, I want to wow. go see how our two engineers are doing. I want to see their. I want to hear. Their oh, we check on Tally too. We can. That's yeah. true. Violet Grandpa with his stories. I think we already talked to Tally though. Let's talk to Grandpa though. Grandpa. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Doesn't matter who you are. You got a gun in your face, chances are good you'll do what the other man says. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. I was shadowing this rookie on an infiltration run to an eclipse base on Tatus. Good kid, but he had no business handling a rifle. In the shuttle on the way down, he puked in his helmet. We hit some turbulence and with all the crap sloshing around, he thought he'd been shot in the head. <laughs> Went back to the Alliance. Here he's a governor now. Amazing. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Thanks, Aid. Wonder who that could be. Um, you haven't talked to Tally since the last mission. True. You can always talk to everyone after each mission. Except Garrus, for some reason. How you doing, kid? Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. All right. That's all for now. I think just like Garrus, not really much to say. You'll probably have more to say if you go to Tachanka. Probably, yeah. We're taking him with us, though, for that. Yep. Oh, here we go. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. But they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. Dang. 
great. Fucking great. Okay, something else. Tully! There she is. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Okay, so I'll nothing. let you work. Very good. Talk to you later. Your crew is doing a lot of work. You're pretty good. What about Jack? Uh, Jack has a mission she wants to do. Yeah, shoot. I have a mission. Oh, that's Jack, right. We talked so to them about the mission. Talked to her, yeah. We could probably start doing their missions next. Well, we gotta finish uh, Ilium first. You gotta recruit. Yeah, and then. And uh, the Shadow Broker one. Yeah, I hate I hate to quit streaming after we got a raid, but this might be the healthiest place to stop, honestly. If this would be. Yeah, because we can go back to Ilium. We can finish all the stuff there. Recruit the Justicar. Uh, help Liara. I forget, Arkov. How long does it take to do the server thing for Liara? Uh, it's, it's because you just running. run around to a couple servers, right? Yeah, but it's a lot of running, and each one has two stages to it. Do that's I have right. to actually run in the game to get to them? In yes. Time? Oh, yeah. that's going to be rough. Because that makes the screen shake like crazy. I don't think you necessarily have to run, run. You just have to move it. Like, move. there's going to be a timer. Gotcha. We'll save that for next time. Yeah, we can save that for next time. Oh, yeah, Miranda has her mission on Ilium, too. That's right. We have a lot of stuff to do on Ilium, but it's good. Mm -hmm. We can get it done. But I think this is probably yeah, the healthiest play to, place to stop. Do you want to go probe some planets? I, you know, we could. I actually, you could probe um, planets. I actually probably won't because I kind of want to go out today. Uh, I'm, I'll have right. to drive. So. Do it. Um, yeah. I might see if I can I can play some more hammer tonight maybe and I, if I do I have to make a list so um, but hammer that war ugh, excuse me I just want to say thank you guys so much for the raids and the stream and uh, the the raids and the bits and everything I appreciate it a ton sorry yeah and Martin raided me right near the tail end of the stream but I appreciate it a ton it's always nice to hear from Martin. You got you Raiders should come back next week and watch us play. You should honestly, because you missed some stuff, but it's, it's, it's such so good. Even if you've already played, just come watch Monty play for the first time. The romantic conundrums of Monty Shepherd and fucking yep. Liara. I wanna just point out I broke up with her Sorry, what were you doing to Liara? Oh my god. Literally I broke up with her in the first game and it did not carry over to this game. Well which means I have to break You tried up. to break up with her. Yeah. I hope the game gives me an option to break up with her again, because, like... I guess we'll see, won't we? Oh, man. You should save. I should save. <laughs> I should go. And you should level up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's do that. Hold on. Squad. Yeah. Uh, Squad. Oh, Ooh. you can bump up your operative or AI hacking the max now. If you want. What does operative do? Weapon damage is more punishing and frequent, and targeting enemies is easier. Basically makes you your also improve. Better. You can improve your cloak, too, if you want to cloak longer. Cool. Oh, you get to pick between two. Oh, yeah. Oh, assassin. Your focus in Cypher Zoo is a have to most have all weapons and powers. Sniper slowdown duration is now 2.25 seconds. And it's a 60% slowdown, giving you more time to aim. Yeah. Paragon Renegade plus 70%. Power damage. Power plus damage increased. Health, weapon damage. You still get the slowdown with Agent, but Agent seems more geared towards conversation with that 100% bonus to Paragon Renegade. Yeah. Yeah, because that gives you every option in the game if you want it. Should like, Assassin is damage, Agent is social. Social. Yeah. What would you recommend? Because I'm... So, I I like picking Agent so it guarantees that you have the opportunity to do every possible Paragon I slash do Renegade that. thing. Yeah. And you're already good enough with your gun where I don't think you need the damage boost, the whereas this boost. is all story. Yeah, let's go Agent then. Alright, cool. I got an achievement for that, too. Yep. And I think you can undo that, so you can always go back and Sick. respec. That's awesome. Pray the curse doesn't hit next week. Listen, if we can't make it, I'll do oh, something man. else. No, it's if it happens, we're we're scheduling between three people. It just it's the way it goes. But 
You know, if we can't make it next week, you should stream to the moon. No, fuck off with that. <laughs> I'll play. To, I'll, I'll play to the moon with no, you. No, I'm not playing to the moon with you, Bosco. It is not a game I want to play with you. <laughs> That's not an insult towards you. It's just not a game, honestly. That honestly, it's not a game to stream. Like just flat out. Like, to the moon is very much a experience. It's it's like reading a very like bittersweet, sad book. It is it is it is a game to either play by yourself and just go through the entire thing or to play with a loved one to really just, you know, do do it. So, you know. Yeah. No, I'm not streaming to the moon. I, I went through it once. That is enough. <laughs> and here's the thing, I'm saying it like it was a terrible experience. It was a fantastic experience. I know what remains of Edith Finch. I'm not playing that either. I know these games. I'm not playing them. <laughs> But, uh, to the Moon is very bittersweet. It is a lovely story, but a soul-crushing one. It is a gut-wrenching story that, that stays with you. I still think about that game. So, it's... it's I, I, I right, it's, it's a game I recommend, but I will never play again. Like, I'm like, anytime someone's like, oh, so I shouldn't play, I'm like, no, you absolutely should play To the Moon. You absolutely should play To the Moon, but <laughs> you should not... I cannot play it again. I, I, I'm Mr. Incredible. I, I'm not strong enough. I can't do it again. Like... <laughs> when you go into that game, you do not want to be in a compromised mental state. No. Um, literally, I, I played the game for an hour and went, wow, this game's shit. And then I went back and finished it and I went, wow, this game is the best game ever made. Or at least the best written story ever written. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I cried for 30 minutes, chat. Like, Jeez. 30 minutes. Like, I got 30 minutes to the end of that game, and I had to stop, like, fetal position and was crying. That game had me bawling like a bitch, too. Did you play it recently? When did you play it? I played it many years ago when it first came out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, man. Just, that game stays with you. That game stays with you. It's one of those games where you're not the same person afterwards. But hopefully we'll be back next week for more Mass Effect. I honestly want to I want to get... There's so much content in this game compared to the first game. Like, holy shit. You have barely scratched the surface. I feel like we've barely... Like, we've, we've barely done the main plot. So... Leo Novitz said, sorry, I was getting food. Which game are we talking about? We were talking about, uh, To the Moon. To the Moon. To the Moon. Yeah. It's a game you can get on Steam. Yep. It goes on sale pretty frequently as well. Oh, my God. But no, this was a fun stream. I, I feel like we did a lot. We did a ton of quests today. Yep. The, the fucking Conrad, the, the poet spewing fucking... I love you met that. your new favorite bartender? My new favorite bartender ever. I love her. She's great. Oh my god. Like... The Krogan doing poetry. I love the Krogan doing poetry. It's just like... Oh my god. Never played to the moon? Need to check it? Yeah, I, I like... It's a, it's a good, it's not, it's, calling it a game is weird. It's, it's like a visual novel more so. It has gameplay elements to it, but the story is one of the greatest written stories ever. Like, here, here's, here's the setup. You play as two doctors, and your purpose is to basically go into people's brains and rearrange their memories to give them, like, to make them achieve what they, like, their wishes, basically. So basically, you're two doctors that go into the minds of, like, terminal patients and basically change their memories. It gives them a happy ending. It gives them a happy ending, basically. That is your setup. I'm not going to say more than that. Oh, man. God, I'm just thinking about it right now, and I'm, like, having, like, war flashbacks. Like, the <laughs> final part of that game when I was just fucking crying. Uh, oh, I'm gonna start crying. God. And the song. Oh, God. The vocal you, song in the, the game. The music in the game is really good, too. You can get it with the soundtrack, which is... Oh, oh I can't. I can't, man. Everything Sorry. will be alright. No. <laughs> uh. 
Anyway. We should find someone to raid. We should find someone to raid! We should! <laughs> oh my god. Who is on right now? That's a great question. There is a rabbit. Lanny's doing D&D. Uh, yep. Genpai is playing like a dragon. We should raid uh, rabbit. Let's raid rabbit. Raid the wabbit. I'm good with wabbit. Raid the wabbit. Path of Exile. Path of Exile. What should our raid message be? Oh. Mm. <laughs> what? Sorry. What? Thinking back to what you said earlier. How do I break up with this woman? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's how a long would be funny and out of really... context. Oh my yeah. <laughs> god. How do I break up with this woman? <laughs> It's <laughs> a long raid message, dude. It is, but it's really you funny. You guys can copy and paste it. Copy and paste from it from Arkov. Arkov. How do I break up with this woman? <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good night. I'll see you guys Thursday for Dungeon of the Mad Mage and Wednesday for Unexpectables. I was going to say, don't forget about Wednesdays. I know, I know. God. I All see right. where your priorities are. <laughs>